Hi everyone, we're back again, <laughs> and Evie's laughing at us. Um, we are starting our project inspired by Little One, and what we're going to do today is we're going to glue scrap paper onto another paper, and then we're going to draw with lines. So here's our wonderful book, Ooh, Little One, by Anne and Paul Rand. Okay, Mikey, can you show us what we need? First, okay, so you're gonna need some glue, a glue stick, uh, a pen, a black ink pen, and then you're gonna get some uh, scrap, scrap paper. paper. Now I know you guys have all been stuck at home over the last couple of weeks, and I'm sure you have tons of scrap paper just like we do too. So you can use any shapes. We have some random shapes and we have some torn shapes. We have lots of different things. You can do yours on plain white paper, cardstock. You can even use cardboard. Um, so the best way to start, you can make a picture with your scraps, um, which sometimes I know Charlotte likes to do. <laughs> um, or you can just make little random pictures, maybe make uh, just a silly pattern, like Evie likes to make patterns, um, maybe, maybe make more kind of graphic art. So the first thing to do is glue down your scrap paper in any order you wish. So you can kind of see, as I turn this page, what inspired this art project out of little ones. See how it looks like there's little scrap papers and lots of line drawing. So you don't have to make little ones. My family are making whatever they like. I like this one with the bumblebee and it looks like it used stripes of black and yellow paper. Anyway, you can make anything you like. And remember, it doesn't have to be about the picture. It's more about your process. It's process, not product. Kids need to remind their parents and older siblings what process means. Process means just the act of doing the thing. So think about what you're doing and be creative. Okay, and think about bill. like what's happening with your art as you're creating it. Ow! Oh, maybe the sorry, I bumped her head. <laughs> um, sorry, Evie. Sorry, Evie. No, stop. <laughs> um, so think a little bit about how the pen feels as you're going across the different layers of your scrap paper. Think about why you're putting what colors where. Think about what shapes you like Mommy, and what shapes you don't. Yes, Charlotte? Do you have any more scrap paper? Can you, like, get more? Ooh, I'll have to see if we have some more. So one of the, one of the things Evelyn has just noticed is that regular ballpoint pens are kind of hard to color in big surfaces with. So think about that, too. Evelyn's being very simple with her scrap paper and sharing with her brother and sister really nicely. <laughs> mm, I don't know why Charlotte thinks I'm funny right now, but she does. What the heck? Are you guys having a windy day at your houses? We are having an extremely blustery day. Look at our shade. So that's kind of why we decided to do our video today inside. Wait. Evelyn decided to make a good monster. Everybody else is still working. You can see sometimes the process takes longer than others. So see Charlotte and Mikey are still working. Almost done. Theirs is a little more complicated, but remember, you can just do whatever you like, and make sure you do it with things that you have sitting around. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to be sure to use exactly the materials we said here. If you have markers instead of ballpoint pens, that's fine. If you have school glue instead of stick glue, that's fine too because you can just use a dot this and not a lot. Glue, see? I know, I meant like liquid white glue. Yeah. Um, 
So remember, with the liquid white glue, you just use a dot and not a lot. We like the purple glue because you can kind of see where it's going.